This one I want to talk about basically how to get over a bad test. So if you've ever had a bad test, maybe you had one last week or yesterday or two weeks ago, um, but if you've had a bad test, you know that feeling that just kind of sucks, right? You've been there before, it's not the first time, you worked harder last time. You know, for this test, you really worked harder, you did more homework, you did whatever, and you still have a bad grade. It's very frustrating, it's demoralizing, it's a bummer. But um, I want to tell you this time, not a story of one of my students that I've taught, but actually a story of myself in high school because, you know, I'm obviously a math person pretty much, but I did get crushed by trig, like all of trig. And I went through that series of events and I know what it's like and I know how I got out of it. So I just want to encourage you that if you, you know, listen to my story right now, but then also check out all my study tips videos, you're going to find a combination of tricks like making yourself some practice tests or doing the cookbooks that I'm trying to make famous on all these videos because I really want people to use them because they're awesome and they help me so much and they help my students so much. But um, you're going to find a series of steps that you can take to stress less and do better in math. It's just a matter of throwing some stuff against the wall and seeing if it sticks. So here's what happened to me in trig and hopefully this can help you. So it turns out that all these other students were just confused as I was and we had this horrible teacher who couldn't explain it. So you take something that's total gibberish and have it explained to you by someone who only speaks gibberish and oh my God, you're screwed. But we got, I started going to study sessions that they were all going to. Turns out our teacher from the year before, he wasn't like advertising it, but he was having these little study sessions and they were sort of growing in size to where the night before the test, he'd have 20 kids sitting on the floor of his basement and then he was at the front with an overhead projector, like in his basement, like who but like a crazy math teacher would have an overhead projector at home, right? This guy had a math projector at home and he's teaching trig and in one hour, maybe one and a half hour tops, he can teach all these people how to do everything they need to know for the test the next day. It was crazy and it worked. So all this stuff that I thought was completely maddening and ridiculous and confusing and uh, became doable because he taught us in a step-by-step -step way how to solve each type of problem. And that's, so that's the approach I take in my tutoring videos on that tutorguy.com, like all my math videos about every little topic in Algebra 2 and calculus and everything. Those are all step-by-step -step videos where I'm trying to impart that wisdom, like show you how to do these problems step-by-step -step the right way. But also my other tutoring, my study tip videos, like the cookbook technique, you know. Um, and there I'm trying to show you how to use cookbooks and write down the steps step-by-step. -step. And this is all stuff I learned in these study sessions for trigonometry. So that's sort of the approach you learn to take towards math. It's not look at it as something you're supposed to understand, but look at it as just like, it's one type of problem. There's a, you know, maybe three things that I need to do to solve it. Next problem. Step by step, plug and chug, cookbook. That's what worked for me, and that's what works for most of my students. And you might find you need other study tips as well. If you're having a lot of bad tests and you're feeling really demoralized, there's a decent chance you have math anxiety, so there's some things I discuss in other videos you can do about that. Most important of which is like doing a lot of practice tests and really mixing up the order and stuff. Don't just look over your notes. Do practice tests. Make practice tests if your teacher doesn't give you enough practice tests. Practice, practice, practice. But um, overall, the same way the trig turned around for me, it can turn around for you. So whatever class you're in, you're struggling with, maybe math has been a problem for your whole life, but it's gonna turn out that if you work hard, and not just harder, but smarter, if you try some techniques like making cookbooks, you know, maybe you have a new routine before each test. I would encourage you, if you're not a math person, if what I'm saying sounds like a lot of work, you know, unfortunately it is. If you really are a math anxiety person, it's going to be a lot of work. But I would encourage you, because usually when people are struggling with math, they're already doing a lot of work, it's just not really paying off. But just watch all my study tips videos. Try using internet math videos, either mine, or if you can find good stuff on YouTube. Um, but do something like that and watch the study tips and see if you can find some techniques that work for you. Because I promise you, anyone can do well enough in math to get through it to do what you want to do. If you're trying to get into nursing school, you know, if you're just trying to get like graduate high school and get into a decent college, whatever, you know, sort of level you're at and whatever your goals are, anyone can get a good enough grade in math. I'm not saying everyone can be an A plus student. I'm not saying you'll ever love math. You'll probably always at best be kind of comfortable with it, but you can do well enough. And that's what my site's all about. That's what these study tips are all about. I'm not trying to make an Einstein out of everyone. I'm just trying to show you what I learned 
um, through my trig class and through all these years of tutoring are sort of like the best ways to get through math so you can do what you actually want to do. But good luck in math and don't give up. <laughs>